After more than four years at Guantanamo Bay, Binyam Mohamed arrives back in Britain. Stooped and thin, he's led away by British intelligence officials. Britain's Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, has announced that shared intelligence information with the United States on the case will remain confidential. I think the important thing about intelligence information is that you share it with other countries on the basis it remains uh, confidential. People understand that when national security is involved. Binyam Mohamed has yet to speak to the media face to face, but in a statement read by his lawyer, he said he had been through an unimaginable experience and that he'd been let down by those he thought could protect him. The very worst moment came when I realized in Morocco that the people who were torturing me were receiving questions and materials from British intelligence. I had met with British intelligence in Pakistan. I had been open with them. Yet the very people who I had hoped would come to my rescue, I later realized, had allied themselves with my abusers. Binyam Mohamed's statement continued. I've been through an experience that I never thought to encounter in my darkest nightmares. It's difficult for me to believe that I was abducted, hauled from one country to the next, and tortured in medieval ways, all orchestrated by the United States government. He was arrested when he tried to board a flight in Pakistan. He was then forcibly taken to Morocco, where it's alleged he was tortured. From there he was moved to Afghanistan, before going on to Guantanamo Bay. The US had accused him of receiving Al-Qaeda training in Afghanistan and Pakistan. But all charges brought against him have been dropped. Human rights campaigners have called for the United Kingdom government to reveal everything they know about Binyam Mohamed's treatment. It is absolutely essential now that there be an independent inquiry into the role of uh, uh, the UK in uh, secret detention and rendition and the travesty of justice that has taken place at Guantanamo in terms of Binyam Mohamed. After years in captivity, Binyam Mohamed is in poor health. But his return begs yet more questions. There must have been times during his long captivity when Binyam Mohamed gave up all hope of ever being able to return to Britain. His claim, the British military intelligence supplied questions to his Moroccan torturers are the most serious yet made by any former inmate of Guantanamo Bay. And they beg another question. Did the British government know what was going on in its name? Mark Seddon, Al Jazeera, London.